Hello, my name is Kain Tendogenius, and today I'm going to be telling you about the TRIP data structure. I'm so excited because I learned this data structure yesterday, and I've not known about this data structure all these years. I've been studying data structures, and it's so such an interesting data structure to learn, and I'm going to tell you about it today. TRIP data structure comes from tree and heap. But before I continue, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel, click on the subscribe button below this video so that you'll be able to get notified when I make new lessons. I'm Kainton the Genius. If you'd like to see my face, uh, this is me. Um, I'm making this video for you and for everybody that would like to learn. If there's something else you want me to make video on, please leave a comment below uh, and let me know what you would like to learn. I'm, I'm going to make that video for you for free. So just subscribe and also like this video if it's been informative for you. All right, let's get started. What is the trip data structure? The trip data structure is made up of, i uh, derived the name from tree and heap data structures. So the trip data structure combines the benefits of binary search tree and heap data structure. What are we saying? Just a little review of the binary search tree will help us uh, understand what is happening here. For binary search tree, every node on the left child must be less than or equal to the current node, and every node on the right child must be greater than or equal to the current node. Let's take some examples. For instance, we want to create a binary search tree with the following numbers. We have something like this. It's a good binary search tree. Not good, but it qualifies to be a binary search tree because you can see two. One is less than two and is this way. We see three. 4 is greater than 3 and it's this way and so on and so forth. We also have a binary search tree to be this. 3, 5 is greater, it goes here. 2 is less, it goes to the left. 4, 4 is less than 5, it goes to the left, left of 5 and so on and so forth. We also have this to be a binary search tree where everything is lined up and is also a binary search tree it qualifies to be. The problem is we have a worst case scenario where the height of the tree is n. The height of the tree is the distance from the root to the leaf nodes element. So we have n to be the height and complexity is order of n, which is not very, very good. That is the problem of binary search tree. Now the heap data structure have something similar. In this case, the subtrees must contain larger keys. So in the heap data structure, whether it's right or left such tree, a uh, right or left node does not matter. So if we have something like this, we have one, every other thing below one should be greater than one. We have three here, everything below three should be greater than three and so on and so forth. So this is every, this is also a heap and also this is a heap. If you notice, you find out one thing about it, you see that the smallest element is always a root element and that is a problem. For worst case, we also have a height of n and complexity of order of n. So how do we solve this problem to prevent trees from having a very uh, n height, which is very uh, high in this way? And that is why we need the heap data structure. So to create a heap, each of the nodes must contain both a key and a priority. The priority uh, derived from the heap and the key derived from the binary tree. We can always take an example to illustrate it. Properties of a heap is a property of a binary tree where the right child is greater than the current node and the left child is less than the current node. And the children of the subtree must be greater than the subtree or the node. All right, let's take an example to see how it plays out. We say a tree must contain what? Must contain both a key and a priority. So we I've defined this to be, this is, the first item is the key and the second item is the priority. Okay, I can try this. So let's say I'll, the second item is the priority and the first item is the key. How do we build a trip with this data? The first thing you need to do is to take note that the smallest priority becomes the root. That is the first thing you need to do. So M1 becomes our root. So let's put it there. 
so let me remove this okay m1 becomes our root so this is our root i have written it out m1 where do we insert h2 h2 will be child of this node but in heap the priority can either be left or right so in this way we use h so h now is the key and it derived from binary search tree so h compared to m is it greater or less than it is less than m because in alphabetical order h comes before m so it means that h2 will go to the left and this is what we have when it comes to t if we want to insert t3 then we if we compare to m t is greater because it comes after m and therefore it goes to the right i4 we want to insert i i is less than m it goes to the left i is greater than h and it goes to the right and that is fine r is greater than m and less than t so it goes to the right of m and to the left of t and we are there o is greater than m less than t and less than r it comes here g is less than m and less than h so it comes here and we continue in the same way all the way to a9 and we are done this is a trip but the most interesting aspect of a trip is something called a trip graph this trip graph graph is very important and you need to know it let me just explain it to you to create a trip graph you need to arrange the keys and priorities in increasing order so in this way we have priorities here one two three four five six seven eight nine and we have the keys a g h i l m o r t so what we do is to take m1 and plot it m against what against one so this is what we'll have one against m we've plotted it as a first point on the trip graph the next thing is h2 so we take two against what against h and this is what we have the next one is t3 we take three against t and this is what we have and we do for i4 for r5 for o6 for g7 for l8 and then for a9 and there we are we've created a complete trip graph this is about the trip data structure i hope you enjoyed it just like me i hope you are excited and if you want to go in depth you want some technical details some detailed explanation and analysis of complexity of this trip data structure and all that data structures leave me a comment just tell me what you want to learn and i will be there to explain it to you in the next video please click on subscribe and also like this video if you if you enjoy the video and it's been informative for you i remain kind on the genius and i'd like to thank you for viewing and we'll see you in the next video